calculus class. Uh, today uh, we have this topic, so determine of the limit exists. We will continue with the last class. Uh, just uh, today I will to solve a couple of problems here. Uh, this is the first one to see if the word to see whether limit uh, g of x exists when x um, approaches 2. Check whether limit f of x when x approach to uh, approach to two to left hands and uh, limit f of x when uh, uh, x approach to approach two to the right hands both exist so the rule both exist both these limits exist if um, if exist and are equal okay if those are equals, must be exist. If not equals, then it's not. All right. So let me write some ideas here. If um, uh, the limit that I was talking about a few minutes, if the if the limit exists, it is equal. All right, equal to left hand. All right, and right hand limit. I mean, if you write this is in this way. Um, G O X when X um approach to 8 and this like this this is must to be equals limit uh, when x um, approach to 8 uh, to right hands g of x equals limit of g x when x approach to 8 right this is the the rule this is the formula Okay, but uh, let's see and try to solve one example here. This is our problem for today. Uh, find the left hand limits when limit of f x approach to x approach to a two to the left hand. This is this mean to the left left hands. Let's uh, make a, a little uh, graph here. So let's write one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. As fx. All right. Um. Um. Let's let's make the graph right here. It's uh, in two right here. This is uh, one, two, three, four, two, one, one, three, four, six, um, five. Right, like that. Okay, let's make the graph like this in two and three right here. Add the graph this right here and then then four. This graph running like this. All right. So let me explain a little bit this. Okay. As um as 8, for instance here, uh, as 8 to uh, left hand approach to, approach, approach is 2, from left, from left, um, fx, approach 4, here in this graph, approach, approach 4 okay the function this function um, fx though it doesn't need to be to define it at um, x this case x x equals two for the limit exist uh, 
Uh, so the conclusion. So um, limit in this case f x or f of x <coughs> when x approach two <coughs> when x approach two two here. And in our example, this is equals four, right? Four. So let's see the graph. So um, uh, here we are talking about the left hand. Left hand is uh, right here. It's running in this way. See? So this is four here, this is two, all right? See the graph right here. So in this case, the, the limit doesn't need to be to define it at x, x two here, for the limit exists. So the limit is, is, is fx, when x uh, approach two is four, right here you have um, four. Four is in four right here. And then um, this is um, you have right here two. All right. So let's erase it and this, and then let's do the the right hands. This is the, the left hand. Let's write the right right hand. So for the right hand, look the graph. The graph is in this way, the graph. Let me make a picture of the graph. The same thing, uh, fx, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's write the graph right here. Um, uh, we have the same theme here, so it's uh, right here. We, we, we have the circle right here, and this is four. Four right here, and then the graph running in this way too. Same thing, same thing the other graph, but... So remember the, the, the graph before, just uh, mark right here the color, right here, uh, we need to mark the, uh, when we move it to the right hand. So we're talking about the, the, the right hand. So let's, um, let's change here the right hand. Right hand limit. So the right hand limit is right here is two positive, all right? So left hand, this is our problem right here. You have it right here. So um, here, again, it's a find the right hand limit um, f or x when x approach two right hands, all right? So as x approach here, as x approach as two, you have here two, all right, from the right hand, um, fx, in this case, fx approach three, is right here. Now we are talking about this, and before we are talking about the top one, this left hand, this is left hand, this is right hand. So approach three right here, see? You have it right there. See? The function here, the function, um, doesn't, to be defined um, at x equals two. Here, x equals two. All right. Uh, but for the limit exists in this case for right. 
So our conclusion here, so this conclusion, limit of x, x, f of x, when x approach to right hand, right, two positive right hand, is equals to cos 3, right here. You have the 3 right here, see? So in this case, uh, the the uh, the limit uh, uh, is not ex no exceeds the limit. I mean, but this is, is not um in this case uh, the limit uh, the function doesn't not no 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 don't ha doesn't have to be to uh, prove or uh, define it at least for 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 the limit exists. Okay, this is right hands, left hands. So now. Let's uh, talk about the other problem when the limit uh, in this case and uh, it doesn't exist. Let's find. Uh, let me write another uh, little problem. I have a, a little problem here, so let's change. Let me change the numbers here. Um, when x approach seven, and then here x approach negative uh, to left hand and then x x approach to seven right hands right hand so our first problem our first problem find let's find the um, uh, the left hand first find the left hand he find the left left hand um, when the limit the limit in this case fx f of x uh, when x approach to the le left left hands right here all right so let's uh let me um, do the the graph the graph in this case is a little bit longer just um, let me write the graph right like this. This is um, a f x, and let's write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's write it right there. All right, and then um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So negative one, negative two. Negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, all right? Negative eight, negative nine. Uh, I will uh, write the, make a picture. This graph is a little bit different. Uh, it's in a one, two right here. And the seven, seven right there. And then it's moving to the Let's move 10 like this. And right here. Alright. Uh, we are talking about the left hand. It's in this case, it's to the, moving to this. We have to remark or uh, coloring the left hands right there. Okay. What I mean that the graph. So as I X approach. As X approach, approaches what? Approaches seven, all right? From the left, we are talking about the left, from the left hand, okay? Fx, in this case, Fx, what happened with this Fx? Fx approach, In this case, approach, uh, you have it here, negative two, right? Negative two. So, you, do, you don't have to prove in this case, the limit, it doesn't need to be defined uh, at x equals seven. Doesn't have to define it equals seven. So, for the limit, uh, to see if the limit exists. So in this case, 
our conclusion so limit fx when x approach to negative 7 fx is equals negative 2 right right there so let's work to the right hands okay right hand in the same problems uh, let's write here right hand right hand limit so in this case 7 is positive that's right we are talking about right hand, right hand. so again let's uh, make a picture of the graph same thing uh, fx so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 all right so like that so let's write the graph right here in two So I look at the graph, but in this case, the graph, we have to color in because we are talking about the right hands is uh, from here. Right hands, the graph. All right. So the conclusion here is as I X approach here as X approach. Approach what? Approach seven from the right hand. On the right hand, fx approach approach um, negative two. All right. So the function, the function uh, in this case doesn't have to by define it, define it at the point. Uh, at the point x equals uh, 7 in this case is equals 7 so for c the limit exists so the conclusion should be so limit uh, fx when x approach 7 because it's positive 7 is equals is equals negative negative two right that's the result okay and that was our class for 